Before we move on to some topics in expectation, this is one final summary of the population mean. The upside to the population mean, which is the Greek letter mu, also written as the expected value of x, is it is a measure of central tendency that is a best guess at sort of the middle of the distribution or the average value of the random variable x. Here are three downsides to the population mean, which is the expected value of x. The expected value of x gives you no indication of how dispersed or variable or how spread out the probability distribution is. It doesn't tell you if the probability distribution is all clustered around the expected value of x or if there's a big spread to the distribution. Now we are going to have another expected value which is known as the variance. It's another expectation that can be calculated that will measure that spread but the mean alone does not give you that. The second thing here is the expected value does not give you any indication of the symmetry of the probability distribution. It doesn't tell you if it's symmetric or if it's skewed and again we are going to introduce a little bit later another expected value known as the skewness which will be a measure of symmetry. And then the third thing which we saw earlier in the example on the Cauchy and the Pareto distribution is the expected value of x is very heavily influenced by heavy tail distributions. If you have a heavy tail you can even get an undefined mean and so that is another downside to the expected value of x. That's why sometimes the population median is used instead of the population mean as a measure of central tendency.